traffic. Good Lord. Anywho, I got a big announcement. It's very big. I now have a job. Psych. I just, I had to stop that. I couldn't go that far with that joke. But. You want to start an online business and you don't know where to start. You're just thinking, what business model should you start? What should you do? And I will say that I think that's the wrong approach. I think you need to look higher than what you should do and look into what you can do. And some of the things that you can do, may, you may not have the money or the positioning or the connections to do it now, but you gotta get on the path because I was working with a client who over the last three years has gone from having a job to building a million dollar business. Now, most of that money, most of that love and stuff came you know, last 16 months. That's when the big jumps of income came. But if they hadn't started when they did, they would have never got to that 16, 16 month period of just cash just literally being thrown at them. Now, one of the problems I think that messes up a lot of people is they, they treat their online businesses as if they're going to be a softer version of an offline business. And what I mean by that is they don't have to work as hard. You're going to have to work just as hard on your online business as you do on your offline business. And that right there is throwing people because, you know, it's on the internet. Like it's supposed to be a little bit slipperier, a little bit easier. Those days of just throwing up, hey, my name is Johnny Joe and I've got a website and making money on the internet, that ended a long time ago. You got to be crafty. You have to have a plan. You have to be progressive. You have to really, really think about some stuff because you can make money in virtually any niche if you have the right level of drive, the right level of determination, the right level of hootspah, or whatever that stuff is. And it's going to be real interesting in the next 10 years, and I'm going to tell you why. Many people who have good jobs, and when I say good jobs, I'm talking about six-figure jobs, are going to find themselves in a position where they have to do something like start a business or you know take over the company that they work at maybe some employee buyout deal it's just going to happen and many people want that job life get up in the morning go to work clock out and go have fun it's just it's going to be real hard and real challenging for many people to have that kind of life when you have economic uncertainty because we live in a time where there's many new emerging technologies. And if you can be on the path of business development, business ownership, you will see these technologies before other people. Because typically when something makes it down to the public, it could literally be two, six months to three years old. Like, I'll give you an example. Years ago, there was this article in Inc. Magazine can't remember the gentleman's name but he is the one that created the technology where when we touch our screens we can manipulate them he created that and they were going on and on and how this was going to be revolutionary how it was going to change things it enabled the development of smartphones <laughs> billion dollar ideal and let's look what happened then you had the iPhone, then you had the iPad, then you have computers that you could touch and touch. All kinds, I mean, it just completely revolutionized how we interact with our devices. Now, if you were on the ground floor of that development, like you knew what he was doing, you could like, okay, what are they gonna need? They're gonna need people to make the glass, they're gonna need people to make the technology, they're gonna need conductors. There were so many things that were gonna be needed to help launch that technology that if you had got in the first two or three years, you, you would now be a billionaire. So, but if you weren't in business and you weren't paying attention to business trends, you would not know. And, you know, I looked at it and I was just like, it, 
it, it, it more it fascinated more me more than it interested me. And I've learned, you know, based on five businesses that I had that failed, <clears throat> stop doing stuff for money and do things that you really want to do or things that you may not be I may not be passionate about, but I'm very intrigued. I'm very intrigued with video. I'm very intrigued with storytelling. I have most of my life with storytelling because I'm a voracious reader. I love a good story. So I'm very, very much in that lane and it's going to get me where I want to be. But for those of you who are still on the sidelines, I'm going to say something that's <clears throat> probably not really popular, but you would be better off starting a business now that you may not be really 100% jumping up for joy about and getting that expertise being in the plane of business researching business because when you do research for your business invariably you're going to find out about other advances you're going to find out about other things you're going to it's just it's just crazy that when you do research for your business you find out about other businesses other developments all kinds of stuff so you gotta get in the game you cannot continue to sit on the sidelines and hope and just wait quote to the right time sometimes you have to make the right time big thing that's coming up is going to be and this is a big money game getting into robotics getting into AI but if you're really techy ask yourself what can I do that will be in alignment with those technologies because let's say someone creates well let's put it this way I think in the next 10 years you're gonna be able to get your own uh, I forget the name was a Jenny that robot on the Jetsons you're gonna be able to have that in your house an automatic servant an automated servant someone to do laundry yes laundry clean the floors manipulate stairs all kinds of stuff that you don't want to do it'll probably be like 15 20 you know maybe 30 grand and they'll last five maybe ten years so a lot of people are going to be displaced in a myriad of ways but if you go ahead and prepare now and start to become part of technology because the human elements gonna have to figure in here somewhere I don't know how the human elements going to figure into this complete thing um, I don't know I'm not I really don't know I'm, I'm a little scared but I'm also a little excited at the same time it's a very very interesting dynamic that's coming but start looking at what's coming in the future because one of the things that kills people is getting on a trend when it's become pedestrian you can still make money you can still do well but it's just not going to be the same if you don't if you get in when it's raw and when it's raw is when people other people don't realize the potential that's when it's amazing because you're building that industry you can become a thought leader you can become an innovator you'll become the go-to guy when people have a question about X Y and Z they're coming to you amazing stuff totally amazing stuff so that's pretty much all I got for you as I navigate this traffic as I go to a networking event because that whole you know I was gonna do a video like I could, you know I might put it in the in the beginning as this person zooms up on me like a maniac but it is really the future is bright if you choose to make it bright it really is it really really is all right I'm just seeing how many folks will stay here while I say nothing. If you if you like this, be sure to subscribe for more.